This is a coastal hammock. It's also a forest at risk from sea level rise. We're just a few yards from the beach. It's also used by migrating songbirds. In the fall and in the spring, heading north and heading south, they stop here to eat and to rest. And if we lose this beautiful forest to sea level rise, they lose it too. In Florida, sea level has risen nine inches in the past hundred years, and if present trends continue, sea level will rise up to three feet by the year 2100. Even one foot of sea level rise could shift saltwater habitats far inland and dramatically reshape our coastal communities. Florida's southeast coastline is important to wildlife and to the five million people living in the region. Beachgoers and bird lovers are important to our economy. Coastal beaches provide food and resting places vital to shorebirds, but our beaches are increasingly vulnerable to erosion and inundation as sea level rises. Beaches and coastal hammocks protect upland areas from high tides and storm-driven waves. Florida is blessed with natural beauty. It is ours to protect because it's irreplaceable. Sea level rise is already evident on Florida's beaches and in the Everglades. Colonies of roseate spoonbills used to nest on islands in Florida Bay. But with each passing year, more spoonbills nest in the interior of the Everglades, where they can find freshwater fish driven inland by seawater. Beginning in about 1983-84, we see this plummeting of wading bird nesting in the bay. We've seen changes in the mangroves, definitely salt-tolerant tree species are definitely moving inland. So what we have is saltwater intrusion, salinity levels are rising, breaking down the marsh in the interior of Cape Sable, and we're seeing less and less of these prey-based fish, and that's impacting the, the nesting productivity of the wading birds that are utilizing this area. Everglades restoration is critical to basically balancing sea level rise. If we don't have Everglades restoration, if we don't restore flows, if we don't have fresh water flowing out of the Everglades, then the salt water is just simply going to invade the Everglades and take it away. Audubon, Florida calls on the public and public officials to learn more about birds and wildlife living in coastal areas and how to protect their habitat in the face of sea level rise. We need to plan for climate change, recognize that Everglades restoration will defend against sea level rise, and make sure that our response to sea level rise helps rather than harms Florida's beaches and coastlines.